Grace and peace, everyone. Grace and peace. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is going to be a one and done. I know I've been saying it. I'm getting used to using Ecamm and hopefully we can do this without any problems because this one's going to be a fun one. All right. At this point in the game, I just really think that Fannie Willis should just throw on the towel and quit. Um, she's totally going to crater her career. Any possibility, any monicum of respect that she had left after the most recent blow-ups, the, the evidence with the cell phones and so on and so forth, is just gonna it's just making her look more and more ridiculous. And this one right here is I, I just don't think she can recover from this. Let's go ahead and pull it in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Breaking Fannie Willis response to a fair cell data claiming her calendars, emails, proof she wasn't with Nathan Wade, but the dates don't match up. So um, if you're familiar, you know, they were having the big discussion about these uh, allegations that the cell phones, um, Nathan's cell phone was in her vicinity and it seems pretty suspect and nothing more. If nothing else, it seems extremely suspect. Why is a cell phone in her area, in her neighborhood at this time of night, at this time of day, whatever, like that overnight, so on and so forth. They came up with a whole bunch of excuses, but she submitted her calendars and her emails and they're the wrong dates. But let's go ahead. Soros backed Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis responded to a new court filing using her paramour Nathan Wade's cell phone data to determine whether the two lied in court about when their romantic relationship began. <sighs> I, I don't know how she's, she's going to fix this. I don't know how she's going to restore this. Now, you can be pro um, Fannie Willis, and that's perfectly fine, but I don't know how she's going to restore this, given the fact that not one, but two people cooperated that they started their relationship before he got hired. And now this information, it just seems like it's cratering. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Fannie should just throw in the towel, but let's go. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, also known as the AJC, authorities geo-tracked Nathan Wade and found that Nathan Wade made at least 35 visits to Fannie, Fannie's Hapeville neighborhood before he was hired as a lead prosecutor in the law fair RICO case against President Trump and 18 Trump associates. Nathan Wade appeared to make at least 35 visits to the Hapeville neighborhood where Fannie was living before the district attorney hired him to leave Fulton County's election interference prosecution. According to cell phone data included in the court submission filed Friday, the AJC reported. According to the cell phone data, Wade visited your T condo where Willis was residing before he was hired on November 2021. OK, that was the big deal with the dates and the such like that. And I believe the prosecuting attorneys knew that. That's why they were asking and hammering that topic. One second. Trump's lawyers re relied on data collected from Wade's cell phone and cell phone cell phone tower transmissions to track his movements. It seems to contradict Wade's testimony last week in which he said he had visited Willis's Willis at her condo in Hateville no more than 10 times before he was hired in November 2021. It also contradicts and indicates Wade twice arrived late at night at the condo and left early the next morning. In the months before Willis and Wade said that their relationship became romantic early 2022, the AJC reported. A desperate Fannie Willis responded to the latest allegations in a court filing on Friday evening. The records do nothing more than demonstrate that Special Prosecutor Wade's telephone was located somewhere within a densely populated multiple, multiple mile radius where various residents, restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and other businesses are located, Fannie Willis said in a motion reviewed by this reporter. Okay. I do agree. Like, I mean, it, there's definitely room. There's room to speculate that maybe it wasn't what we think it is. But do, is that probable? I think is the question that most people would ask. Does that make sense that he would be at a, a bar 30 miles away spending the night at a bar like that doesn't make sense? 
Uh, and of course, we can always argue, well, Fanny wasn't there. So he might have went to Fanny's house, but he slept there and she wasn't there. Okay. I mean, that's that's a, that's an option as well. But is that reasonable to believe that that is the case? That's what I don't think we're doing. But let's continue. Additionally, Fanny Willis submitted her calendar and emails to prove she wasn't with Nathan Wade on September 11th and 12th, November 30th, 2021. But the dates don't match with the hookups that took place. Screenshots of Fannie Willis' calendar. So this calendar is for April 12th, 2021. April 20th, 2021. <laughs> and May 10th. These are the data. This is what she submitted. That's why I said, like, Fannie, just give it up. Just give it up. So then here, November 17th is the email. And if we go back up here... The date in question is November 30th. So she submitted information that wasn't even correct. November 17th. And here's the uh, techno fog says Fannie Willis gets desperate. Willis responds to the affair cell data by claiming her calendars and emails prove she wasn't with Wade. There's a big problem. The hookups took place on November, I'm sorry, September 11th through 12th and November 30th of 2021. The calendar emails aren't for those dates. That's what she submitted. She submitted that. That's crazy. All right, but let's keep going because this is the part I think is going to be real problematic for, that's why I'm saying like Fanny should just throw in the towel and just quit. She should just quit. But let's, let's go. The lies became more evident last week during the evidentiary hearing about misconduct of Fannie Willis as Judge Scott McAfee weighs whether she should be disqualified from the Trump RICO case. Last Thursday morning, witness Robin Yurti, who worked for Fannie Willis' office, testified that Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade started their relationship back in 2019 before Willis assigned Nathan Wade as lead prosecutor in the RICO lawfare case against President Trump. Next, up, Nathan Wade took the stand and was grilled about the sexual relationship between Fannie Willis. Nathan Nathan Wade sweat bullets as he was forced to admit that he may have provided a false answer in the, inter in the interrogatory in the civil proceedings about his divorce case about entertaining Fannie Willis while he was still married to his wife, Jocelyn. Wade lied to the court in a civil proceeding about the, his divorce provided false statements in a brief step and in a brief su submitted and signed by Fannie Willis and lied to the witness on the witness stand. Watch Wade lie about the number of times he visited Fannie. Got you. All right. This is what I, okay. We don't have it right here, but in the filing that um, Fannie submitted, she starts to question whether or not the, um, the means by which the cell phone data is collected, that thing is called cell hawk. That means by which they collect cell phone data, that that is suspect. Well, there's a problem because I guarantee you, she has probably put somebody in jail because of that cell hawk data that found where their cell phone was located in a particular area. And that was enough evidence to get put in jail. So by Fannie Willis challenging that cell hawk is wrong, that cell hawk is flawed. She's opening up the floodgates for all of those cases to be thrown out. That's going to be bananas all because she doesn't want to admit that she was wrong. She needs to step down. She could resign now and let all of this go away. But she's going to fight it all the way to the end. She's going to probably end up losing. And she's going to end up causing Fulton County and the city of Atlanta to have to retry all of these cases because she's going to challenge that the cell phone data is wrong. And this is the woman that just submitted her wrong calendars and emails. This is crazy. Wow. This is going to be a crazy week. I really hope you all enjoy it. Please, 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 please pray for Atlanta because Atlanta must be stopped. We need this kind of stuff, this kind of shenanigans to end. And we need Christ to be exalted. And we need the foolishness to come to an end. Thank you so much. This is going to be a one and done. So once this video is done, it's going hot. Thank you so much. And until next time, everybody, grace and peace.